Hello, this is Matt Mastriani, and I am the Communication and Social Media Director at Norwin Christian Church. And today we're going to take a look for our Friday devotional uh, at a, a snapshot of Jeff's sermon this past Sunday on uh, paradoxes and the paradox of being last. Uh, paradoxes are fascinating, aren't they? They make us pause and reflect on things we might take for granted or assume to be straightforward. Jeff's message on the paradox of being last dives deep into this intriguing aspect of life, challenging us to reconsider how we measure our worth and success. So if you think about it for a moment, when was the last time you found yourself in a situation where you were ranking yourself against others? Maybe it was at work, at school, or even in everyday interactions. Jeff's message reminds us that this habit of comparison is deeply ingrained in us. We are constantly sizing up ourselves against those around us, seeking validation and affirmation in our position. But then comes the paradox. The last will be first and the first will be last. It's a statement that seems to defy logic at first glance. Why would those who are last suddenly be elevated to first place and vice versa? Yet, as Jeff unpacked this paradox, we begin to see its profound truth. As we go through the layers of this paradox together, we look at Matthew 20, where Jesus shares a parable about a landowner hiring workers for his vineyard. The landowner's actions challenge our conventional notions of fairness and entitlement. Workers hired at different times of the day received the same payment regardless of how long they worked. This goes against our ingrained sense of fairness, where we expect greater reward for the bigger or greater effort. But Jesus' message goes deeper than just fair wages. It speaks to the very heart of our human condition, the tendency to measure our worth by external standards. Whether it's our achievements, possessions, or social status, we're constantly striving to be first in line seeking validation from the world around us. Yet Jesus flips this paradigm on its head. He invites us to embrace the paradox, to let go of our need for validation, and instead find our worth in God's eyes. In God's kingdom, success isn't measured by worldly standards, but by the depth of our relationship with him. So what does this mean for us in our daily lives? It means embracing humility and recognizing that our worth isn't defined by our accomplishments or how we stack up against others. Instead, it's found in our identity as beloved children of God. It means letting go of our need to be first and trusting in God's abundant grace, which is freely given to all, regardless of our place in line. As we reflect on Jeff's message from this past week, let us challenge ourselves to embrace the paradox of being last. Let's release the pressure to constantly measure up and instead find our true worth in God's unfailing love. As we do, may we discover the freedom and joy that comes from surrendering our need for validation and resting in the assurance of God's unending grace. Thank you for joining us for this week's Friday devotional, and we hope to see you at church on Sunday. For more information about Norwin Christian Church, you can visit us online at norwinchristianchurch.com or check us out on any of our social media platforms.